We're going to talk about warriorship and leadership today, and specifically the characters of a warrior and how does that apply to all of you, where you've come from, and what can you take away to make use of, of uh, the principles of warriorship. In talking about the definition of a warrior, how does that apply to you? And I had to think, how am I going to bring this message to all of you? Well, I do a, a lot of uh, my presentation work. I speak to three groups normally. Uh, the first is I speak to an awful lot of uh, special operations people, Navy SEALs, Army Special Forces, Air Force combat control teams, during their advanced training and during their pre-deployment training. They're getting ready to go to the fight. Uh, our special operations warriors are trained in three areas. We, look at, we call it the triangle. On one side is their physical capability. These guys have to be fit and have to be able to endure a great deal of hardship as they take their skills to battle. The other side of that triangle is the uh, professional skill set. They have to be uh, good at a whole bunch of military disciplines, communications, weapons, uh, air operations, precision bombing, precision shooting. Uh, there's a whole uh, parachuting, in the case of the Navy SEALs, diving. They take a, lot, a big skill set to the battlefield. But underlying all that is the moral aspects of that. Uh, a warrior has to have a moral foundation to project his power. And that's important for a Navy SEAL, it's important for a corporate warrior, and it's important what goes on at this institution at the Naval Academy in training the future leaders of tomorrow. So I thought, well, do I give you the Navy SEAL presentation? And I thought, well, that may not be appropriate. And I thought, well, how about the midshipman pro uh, presentation? I speak to senior midshipmen during their capstone course, and we talk about the moral uh, underpinnings that they will need to be leaders in the Navy and Marine Corps. You heard Admiral Rimp kicked it off yesterday, and he says this institution here is to uh, train midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically. And they take those skills forward to be leaders in the Navy and the Marine Corps. And I have the honor and privilege to come back here and address the midshipmen on those issues. And then the third variation of my presentation is for corporate warriors. And I don't know about you, but yesterday morning when I heard Jim Donnell, Ann Fisher, Brad Anderson, I got the feeling I was in the presence of warriors. These were serious warriors. These were, these, these, these were true warriors in every sense of the word. So uh, when I do a presentation uh, for corporate warriors, I, uh, I modify it a little bit. If it happens to be a retail group, then we talk about communications, warriorship and communications. If it happens to be, a, 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 let's say, a finance group, Dealing in finance, we talk about trust, issues of trust. If it's a manufacturing group, we talk about teamwork and the importance of teamwork in a manuf 